Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, I'm gonna show you the new and improved shop pages in Wix. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing I want to do here on this website is actually add the store. So we're gonna come over to my business. The top option is typically the store. So we'll go ahead and add this. Once it's finished adding the store to our website, here is what we will see. Now, in this video, we're really only going to be covering the changes made to this page, the overall shop page, because all of the other pages should roughly be the exact same. The real change is on this page right here, specifically with the categories or collections that you make for your products. For example, if you have a clothing e-commerce shop on your website and you have men's clothing and women's clothing, then you would typically have categories created for your women's and men's clothing. Now on the old shop, you would duplicate your shop page and maybe tell that one to be men's clothing. And then you would duplicate it again and tell the third shop page to only show women's clothing. And then you would link to that specific page for your users to check out specific collections that you have. However, in the new shop page, it can all be done with this single page. This is really beneficial because if your e-commerce website has a lot of collections, then each one of those collection pages you created would count towards your 100 page limit here on Wix. However, now we actually can't even duplicate this page, but it's all handled all on the same page. For example, if I wanted to add collections, we would do what we normally do and go to manage products which would open up our dashboard. And then if we come over to categories, we could create new categories slash collections. So let's just for fun, we'll create a new one right here. We'll call this one wearables because we are just using the default products in Wix. There are a couple clothing items and a couple other products as well. And I'll go ahead and add a quick image as well. And then of course we could always add products. So this would be a wearable product. Same with this, the hat would be earrings and a shirt. So these would be our wearable products. But now what we can do is come over to the SEO settings. We'll go ahead and press save and continue. And inside this SEO settings, we can actually change the URL slug for this category. But once we change that, we can go ahead and press save. And I'm gonna go ahead and create another category real quick. So now we have two collections. We have wearables and we have home goods. So once we have our collections or categories and we set the URL slugs for those, we can now go back into the editor. So as you can see right here, we have browse by all products, home goods or wearables. Now, you're not really gonna notice anything changed here in preview. So what I want to do is just go ahead and publish the website. And once the page loads, what we'll notice here is right now we are on the all products page. So our URL is gonna be your domain slash category slash all products. And that's the one we are on. However, if we switch over to wearables, it's gonna be slash category slash wearables and then home goods would be slash category slash home goods. So what this means is not only can you link this from other parts on your website directly to these categories on your shop page, but let's say if we go back to our original example where you sell both men's and women's clothing, then on social media and maybe email marketing, you can link straight to the men's clothing category on your shop page. I think that this is a fantastic change to the shop pages just because it opens the door for you to have more pages on your website without it being bogged down by a bunch of different collection or category pages. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's little quick update on the Wix shop pages. But if you guys did enjoy the video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix and EditorX content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you on the next one.